Um, this week, everybody, I'm going to keep it very short and hopefully very pleasant for us all. Uh, I'm going to be reading, or actually not reading, just kind of verbally expressing uh, two different stories, if we have time, a third one, from a book called The Dragon's Tales. These books were told around the campfire as I was a child by my grandfather to his children um, to help us learn morals. They were, or, fact, or ways of thinking or critical ways of acting. They were very similar to your, your normal fables that you would have learned just in our society and in my family. Dragons was the way they taught us almost everything. So uh, the first tale is called A Dragon and the Cloud. And it's a, it's a wonderful little tale starts off, as most of them do, with an elder dragon and a younger dragon up on a mountaintop. And this younger dragon, him and his brother actually, are enrolled in school, in a for say, with the elder dragon. He's their master and he's the one who's teaching them the ways of being a dragon. And <coughs> he comes to this, to his younger dragon, and he looks at his student and he goes, you see that cloud up there? And the younger dragon looks up at the cloud. He goes, yes, master, I see the cloud. He goes, I'm going to go over there, go hunting for a little bit, and while I'm gone, I want you to make that cloud disappear. And so, the dragon thinks for a second. It's okay, I, I can do that. I, I, I've learned enough, I think I can do that. The old dragon goes, okay. Starts walking down the mountain, and the younger dragon looks up at the cloud, and he first goes, okay, I can do this. He visualizes the cloud raining down. He thinks that he's going to heat the cloud up, and he visualizes, I can make this cloud do anything I want, I'm in control. And he visualizes the cloud raining down, and nothing really happens. It's okay. I got a fire breath, so I'll visualize that I'm breathing fire over it, and I'm making it all heat up and vaporize away. <coughs> nothing happens. He tries every trick and every spell his master has taught him, every mental little faction, every little tool within his mental tool belt to make this cloud go away cannot, at one point in time, he thinks it shrinks a little bit, but then right back to the full size it was just a second ago. And so eventually the master comes back up the mountaintop. The, dragon waddle, the old dragon waddles back up there. And looks at the young dragon and goes, I see that cloud's still there. And he kind of hangs his head down his sides. And, I tried everything, master. Every spell you taught me, every prayer. I even flew up there and flapped my wings at it and tried to make it fly, it blow away. And I could not make the cloud go away, no matter how hard I tried. <coughs> the old dragon goes, you see that lake down there at the bottom of the hill? The young dragon goes, yes, master, I see the lake. And he's a little confused. Goes, you think there's good fish in that this time of year? The old dragon goes, the young dragon goes, fish? Didn't you just go hunting? Are you hungry, sir? Do you want me to go get you some fish? Young dragon, old dragon goes, no, no. Do you think there's good fish in there? Young dragon looks at the lake and goes, yeah, I've hunted it before. I've fished there. It's got good, solid fish. Would you like, uh, would you like me to go get you some, master? And the old dragon goes, no, no, no. I want you to look up. And the young dragon looks up, and the cloud is completely gone. And he looks back at the young dragon and he goes, when you want something to go away, don't feed it any more energy. Don't pay attention to it. Don't focus on it, because when you focus on it, all you're going to do is keep beating it over again, over again in your head, giving it more energy. Let it go. When it's gone, it will be gone. 